How much older is Marwa? Do you fear Marwa? Were you and Marwa ever friends? Is Davy Jr. a different person on camera compared to real life? Do you think D. Mwango really loved Michele Ponte? All right, everybody, thank you for coming in and watching Kung Fu Fanta. This is your host, Mr. Nice, and today we have It's Ernest from YouTube, and I'm going to be asking him a series of questions about Nabahanzi and some people within the village. And my first question is, Ernest, how are you doing? Okay, I'm doing fine, brother. Who is Ernest? Okay, Ernest is a humble guy from the from Nabuanse village and coming from a, a, a humble background let's forget about youtube for a minute before youtube what was life like in nabahanzi okay the life it was uh it was uh quite fine and it was normal as uh always you know now that youtube is a big part of nabahanzi what is life really like in nabahanzi now the life in nabahanzi right now uh currently because of youtube it's uh, all about messy. Okay, when when you say it's messy, can you give can you give a little bit of a description of what you mean? Uh, uh, I mean some of I mean messy. Uh, some of my uh, youths, uh, some of my brothers and local uh, brothers here around, they are taking advantage of YouTube. Uh, people are lazy. They are not working towards their life. They are working because YouTube is around and YouTube really had them. That's all. Who was Ernest growing up in Nabahanzi? I mean, who were you from a child up till today? Who were you growing up in the village? Okay. It's Ernest. I grew up in this village and uh, I was raised up with two parents. Apparently, my dad died in uh, 2014 and uh, 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 I'm a village boy and uh, I was raised so uh, so very well, and uh, through my parents, they make me understand what hard work pays. That's why you can see right now I'm here defending my village. Yeah, it seems a lot of people in your village have the same names, such as Chacha, Masubo, among others. Can you please tell us why that is? Yeah, the reason why you can see similar names it's because. Uh, uh, our culture, it's all about our culture, our cultures and uh, our families. Our families, most of them, they have uh, these names, Chacha, Marwa, Masubo. And uh, I think, and uh, you can see in our village, Nyabuanse, it's a small village, but have a, a, a so many uh, villages around. So, and uh, we, I think uh, we, we share one, we share one family, I think. All of us, we come from, uh, like I can say, our our grand grand grandparents. It's like they were sharing one background. That's why you. That's why you hear me call Chacha, another one called Chacha, and we, I think uh, because our culture. I was born and I got uh, those names there, and uh, me investigating to know why, and uh, I got uh, to know that. Uh, our family, we Koreans, we normally use one name, mostly when you want to call uh, your uh, your second born. Uh, it normally called we normally call them Chacha, uh, and uh, all those names have a meaning. That's why you can you can you can you normally get some. My brothers, all my uh, some of locals from Nyabuanse, we normally share names. Yeah. You know, when when you are born, uh, for example, when uh, when uh, I get my newborn, I I name him Chacha. Uh, there is a reason why I'm naming him Chacha. The reason, maybe uh, my my uh, my great grandfather was called by was called Chacha, and uh, maybe I've, uh, my new my new born baby, I have, I have I, it, he has been born. Uh, uh, and uh, when I'm looking at the other side and this side and this side and backward, I see whom, whom am I want to name. 
can I name my great grand grandfather Chacha? Or can I name my father Chacha? Because like me, for example, uh, my names are Ernest Nyangoko Chacha. Nyangoko Chacha, Nyangoko is my great great grandfather's name, you know. And uh, maybe when I I will get a uh, God will help me to get a grandson uh, uh, a son, I will like to name him Nyangoko, you know. And that Nyangoko, he's coming. That name is coming from my family, my nuclear family, you know, my nuclear family. Yeah, that's why you normally get some names are like that, and we share names. You said in your videos you have been getting threats from people in Nabahanzi. Who is threatening you? Okay, the threats are coming from. Uh, I think they're coming from uh, from the swamp down there. You know, you know. I normally there's no need to mention them, but uh, uh, they come. It's like they're coming from down there, and uh, not really from down there. But the, down there, they're pushing some people to make threats to me because uh, you know the guy now from down there, the swamp Medellin. He's like the king on, on, on this village of ours. So just people who surrounding him, the people who surrounding him, normally use those tricks to send me some threats. You know, I may mention them here, but uh, it's not good mentioning them here. But uh, the surrounding, the surrounding, I can say the the big five, big five, the surrounding, the the guy from the Medlin swamp. Yeah. Is it true that anyone is welcome to come visit or move to Nabahanzi to buy land and build a home? Yeah, everybody is welcome to Nabahanzi to buy a land and build, but in good intentions, not in bad intentions, because uh, uh, we need an a, a intact village. We don't need a, a split village. And some of people that are coming in this village with some, some different uh, ideas. And uh, that's why it's come there that uh, if you know that you're coming in Nyabuhansi with uh, bad in ideas, you are not in welcome in Nyabuhansi. And uh, it's so hard as to identify those peoples. Uh, some of uh, some of uh, some of your know, local YouTubers, they are trying to cover up to cover up those peoples because we reactors we are few. The 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 sound or the 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 people who uh, are, uh, are uh, identifying those people, we are few. Those people that they have a bad intention in Nyabuhansi village. So that's why we are so curious that who is coming in Nyabuhansi, but some of people are covering for them. You know, yeah. Let's talk about the infamous stream or river in Nyabuhansi. Does it have a name? And I'm talking about the, the same one where the clay pit or a clay bath is located. Okay, that river, that river, it's a, a, a it's a, let me say it's a no man's land. It's a no, no man's land because uh, I was born and got that river there. But uh, some of people from, let me say, for example, the swamp guy, the king, the shirts man, he's trying to use it like he's, he normally owns, you know. He has been even even removing sand from inside there, using that sand uh, to build his house, you know. But that that river, it's a river of the community. I was born and got that river there. You have been go taking our cows there to drink water. You have been using that river, even uh, fetching drinking water from there. Now, but even you cannot even fetch uh, uh, drinking water from there. You cannot go even and wash your clothes there safely because now the river is uh, it's not intact, it's not together, it has separated because of that clay but you know, yeah. A part of the, the question was, does that river have a name? Yeah, the river has a name. The river it's called Guitacho. I've watched videos about that about that stream. Uh, one video was showing the source location or what is supposed to be the source location, and there were cattle crossing the river. Um, what I do know is 
cattle can leave behind different types of diseases from the cows that make the water unsafe to drink. How safe is that water? Yeah, uh, not really, uh, but uh, I know, I know uh, using the same water that animals normally take and uh, bathing there and, uh, and uh, using that water is so dangerous. But uh, we have in that stream, we have some categories. There's somewhere place where normally bed, there's somewhere people normally take water, and there's somewhere people normally take their cows to drink the waters, you know. But sometimes people, people are uh, the organs, the organs. People don't mind where are they, where are they batting, where are they taking water, where are they taking their cows to drink water. So, but uh, we normally survive. We normally, we normally uh, manage. Yeah. Okay, so it, it sounds like, you know, um, people in the village pretty much already have that figured out. The way you're, you're basically using the river in certain locations to do certain things so that way you don't become sick. Am, it, am I getting that correctly? Yeah, that is truly, uh, that is truly. But uh, currently, the situation currently, the situation currently, uh, because we have been experiencing the heavy rain, the heavy rain damaged everything, everything. But you can see uh, the stream is a, a, it's a, a stream that uh, coming, it's a, a long stream, you know, it's a long stream. It's not a, a position like a, it's one position that you, people you normally use that stream. It's a, uh, I don't know how to explain it to you very well, but uh, how to understand it, but uh, let us, for example, a line, let us draw, draw a line, a straight line, you know. That straight line, maybe you can get someone living from the end and the start. And in middle, there's some, even two people, all two families are living there. But because that is the river, the water is draining. People normally use it because they normally they, they normally assume that that water is clean. But uh, like now, people when they did uh, the first uh, king when he did uh, that clay bath, people they were using that clay bath. But uh, uh, some meters from from that clay bath, people they were fetching water from there, drinking water, washing clothes from there because the place where he did that clay bath. People they were normally using that place, and the time that he normally he he he, he did that clay, but there people located from, from there, and uh, normally when you damage somewhere, people they are normally use fetching water, washing clothes. People if they see that that place is not useful, they normally they migrate from there so that they go and uh, and uh, try to uh, to locate a, a secure place. Yeah, that's all. So, Ernest, would you ever take a drink from that water? Yeah, uh, me, sincerely speaking, me, I can take that water. I can take that water because I believe the water which is draining is not stagnant. It's okay. But it's not safe, sincerely speaking. It's just that because we normally take, and we, we people, we, are the, we, we, we come from the village. But uh, people from outside, people that uh, they are not village, uh, they are not coming from the village. For example, you cannot come from where you are right now and you take that water. That water maybe it's uh, it will be affect you. Maybe it will make you be sick because you are not used to. But uh, a person like me, uh, uh, I'm used in that water because I have been staying here more than thirty years or more than twenty years. You know. How do you know Marwa? Okay, I know Marwa because we went with him one school, but he was uh, ahead of me with two classes. I knew him, and uh, he was a friend to my friend, and uh, we have been we have been using the same uh, village, uh, the same town. We have been gracing with him, so I know him very well. He's my homie. What was Marwa like? before YouTube. Okay. 
eh, sincerely speaking mara he was a, a village he was a, a village guy and uh, he was uh, he was a, a humble guy but uh, apparently since he joined youtube and since he left in nyabwanza village and uh, before that since he left uh, since he finished his form 4 he stayed here for uh, a small period and he he, he went at nairobi and since then he stayed at nairobi for so long years he was coming once 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 apparently he went uh, for so long and then he came back while he was uh, a youtuber but uh, sincerely speaking he changed he's not the one who we used to know you know he's not the one he was humble he was a good guy he was understanding but right now he doesn't do that he doesn't to, he doesn't take all those things you know he doesn't remember that he once he was a village boy he doesn't understand that once he was a he was a gracing with a local uh, youth, local uh, youths from this village he doesn't know he doesn't even recognize his classmates he doesn't recognize his age mates you know what is it about marwa that you trust or don't trust about him uh the thing that i don't trust the imara he's not genuine you know he's not a genuine guy so far because sometimes he keep repeating himself and he keep doing mistakes that he he, he has been uh, condemning you know and uh for real i don't trust him because uh it's like since he traveled abroad he knew what we don't know outside there so it's like he's keeping himself a secret for his heart he doesn't he doesn't want to break that uh, secret outside yeah that's all i don't trust him because right now currently he's not a genuine guy did you ever go to school with marwa okay we went one school with Mara. We schooled with Mara one school, although he was head with two school with two classes ahead of me. I believe I heard you say that Marwa is older than you, Ernest. If it's not too much to ask, how old are you? Right now, I'm 21 years old. On December 22nd, I hit 21 years old. How much older is Marwa? Marwa currently now he is like a 40 40 45 to 47 around there. Uh I'm I'm sure about that. Because Boy. <laughs> uh, because Go ahead. because because uh as much as much as you can you can go this, we went same school uh sometimes you know people normally uh, repeat some classes or maybe someone can go to school when he was uh maybe his uh the age was gone or uh, you know in uh in our village people normally take uh, children to school more uh when they are more than even six years or seven according to you see you assess your children that now this child he can go to school and learn and some years back uh, in our rural homes here people they were taking children to school when they were they were two they were more than five years you know it's now people normally take children to school when they are like uh, three years to four years or five years yeah okay okay let me find this next question <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me let me let me compose myself. Oh, I, and and you know and you know and you know. Pardon uh, uh, to continue your question. Marwa and Ankomo, they're almost edgements. They're almost edgements. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, because uh, because uh, they have been they used to be uh, like brothers. Uh, you know, Ankomo he was in this village. Uh, so for so many years, but uh, they were been working together. They have been gracing together. Uh, so 
their uh, their the uh, their like uh, their age mates. You know, their age mates. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you fear Marwa? I don't fear Marwa. I respect him, but I don't fear Marwa. Were you and Marwa ever friends? Yeah, we you have been friends when you are a child. But you know he's a, he's he's bigger than me with some years, you know, but uh uh he was my friend through my friend uh, called uh, Eduswaga. Let me mention him because uh, it's good mentioning him because he knows that he was my friend through my friend called Eduswaga. Yeah. Some are saying the beef Marwa has with people in the village is fake. Are the beefs in the village fake or for real? The beefs is not fake. It's real. It's real. Because uh, why why do I say it's real? Because uh, when people when uh, family uh, when uh, family of Marwa they were in this village. In fact, they were they were poor family. It was uh, they were a poor family, and it's like they are trying to take advantage because now they have money, they have everything, they have a good shelter, they have good shelter. So they are trying to to revenge to this village or to this uh, community because maybe when they came they came to this village they were not they, they were not real people from this village now that's why you can see they are trying to revenge towards our villages now that's why you see they want to own to own this the whole of the village yeah but the really the beefs is real that's true it's real yeah, let me follow up to let me follow up with another question on on what you just said. The people who are out there who think that it's fake, the beefs. How does that make you feel when people are calling it fake? And and they might be calling it fake because they might be thinking that it's to activate donations, it might be to gain more subscribers. How do you feel about those people when they say it's fake? I feel so bad because uh, uh, them, they are not currently in this village. They normally watch Marwa in videos. Some of them, they have never even shake Marwa hands. Some of them, they have never even met Marwa. Some of them, they normally watch Nyabuhansa village uh, through videos. So they must feel it like it's like fake. And some of them, they are trying to sympathize with Marwa. Some of them just try to look sympathy. So that Marwa, because he has a lot of subscribers, and he 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 have a lot of subscribers who normally donate, so they see when they sympathize with Marwa, they will get that donation. That's why you normally see people saying that it's fake. And some of them, they normally defend him. They can defend him because to get that donation. Yeah. Ernest, the word hate is a very strong word. A lot of people say you hate Marwa and the family do you hate marwa sincerely speaking from my uh, bottom of my heart i don't hate marwa i don't hate marwa and uh, the only thing that i'm trying to do is because he started naming himself that he's the king and in our village since i was born i never met anything from this village of ours and uh, that's where it comes at me i must I must correct him to remain to remember that we don't have any king. We normally have some elders in this village of ours who normally correct us whenever we are wrong. So sincerely speaking, I don't hate the guy. I don't hate him, and I don't see any the reason why I hate him. Why? Why? Yes, that's all. If you had any good advice for Marwa. What would you tell him now? Uh, uh, I can tell him that right now, because the world is changing, each and every day the world is changing, 
let us uh, focus on our village because we come from one village. Let us focus in our village and let us chase the poverty from our village. And let us assist our village because our village are so needy. And uh, most of our, our students, our children here, they need education to, to and uh, they lack education. They need someone who can support them to to cater for their education and we move on. Let us forget about the past. Let us focus about wh where we are heading to. That's all. And uh, let him respect all all villages. That's all. And respect our 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 our. Our elders. What was Davy Jr. like before YouTube? Yeah, Davy Jr. before YouTube, in fact, he was a, an indoors boy. He never showed, in fact, he doesn't have even a, a friend in Yabuhansi, a childhood friend, because he, he was a, a indoors boy and he was a mommy boy. You know, her mommy loves, her, her, her loves him so much. So, He's a, he's a, he's a, he was an indoors boy. Yeah. Is Davy Jr. a different person on camera compared to real life? Yes. He's a different guy from the camera. He normally pretends that uh, he knows, uh, he knows uh, all about his village. He normally, and uh, he normally uh, pretends that he's a good guy currently. And uh, a good girl, he doesn't seem like he is, you know. And uh, even there is one of his videos, he said that uh, he doesn't, he clarified himself that he doesn't have any friend from this village. Because uh, people from this village, Nebuhan said, they have a lot of jealous and hatred. So he confirmed himself that uh, he doesn't have any friend from this village. Uh, what do people in Nambahansi really think about Davy Jr.? You know, Nebuhanse people. Uh, since YouTube thing came in Yabuhanse, some of them they don't believe in YouTube, and some of them they don't even follow the juniors. Some of them they don't even follow that family. It's just that uh, a few number who understand what YouTube it is, and uh, who understand the family and who understand the junior. So uh, majority of people they don't even uh, give a damn of that family. Some of them they know that. Uh, Selfish family, it's like uh, they don't even cherish the people of Nyabuhanse. So many of people they don't have any trust with uh, with David Junior. Do people in Nabahanzi trust David Junior? No, they don't trust him. They don't trust him because the day that he came uh, doing a video from that bohol was driven. Uh, the county government was drilling, drilling, uh, drilling that uh, bohol, and he came doing a video trying to tell people that he's the one who drilling that uh, bohol, uh, blah blah. So from there, people they never trusted him because he was trying to use that bohol to get some donation because he was building uh, uh, a, a construction uh, around there, around there. So. People they don't trust him because even him he shown himself that uh, he's not a trustable guy. Ernest, do you trust Davy Jr.? No, I don't trust him because I've never interacted with him in, a, in whichever way. I have never. He's not my friend. I'm not his friend, and I have been seeing him uh, around in Yabuanse, but uh, I don't know his behavior well. But the uh, look of things, uh, uh, how I'm experienced, uh, how I'm seeing him, that's why I'm saying him. I cannot trust him because uh, uh, look of things, he's not a trustable guy. You know, he affects a lot. He affects a lot. What was D. Mwango like before YouTube? I'm saying this. Uh, uh, D. Mwango is the same to his brother, Case, because even him, uh even her she has been staying indoors you know she has been staying indoors and i can say this uh from me because uh, i have been staying in this village for so long i was born here the family let me put this the family that entire family it has been uh not in good relationship with some people here because 
when they migrated from where they were to come in this village in our village uh people there was they, they had this thing and this insume that uh hating hating uh let me say that uh how can i put it uh tribalism you know this tribalism thing it it has been there and i know it's there but uh me i don't believe in tribalism uh so when they arrived in this village uh, the the family was uh like it they was like uh nyabuhansa villages people that they, they were like uh the new the family of uh dimongo they like uh, saying that uh, nyabuhansa they are trying to abandon to uh, abandon them because they are not coming from this village so that's why you get that situation that those two uh, siblings they were indoors you know and they were small they were little 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 in fact D Mongo and uh, Dave Jr. They are, they are, uh, we are not the same age, and uh, they were born here. But the two, I know that I know you people. You know the family, how it goes, and uh, you have been seeing some videos. So that's all, my my, my brother. Why does D Mongo lie so much on camera? She lies because she wants to make him herself famous. You know, and right now YouTube. She's not the one who lies from this village, all YouTubers. Almost, I can say, majority of YouTubers from this village, they normally lie. And that lies, I think, uh, I think, uh, it's, let me use this uh, for example. Uh, uh, some, sometimes even when you are talking to someone, all, if, uh, let me use this, uh, let me use this example. Uh, for example, me approaching uh, a lady. Uh, sometimes lady normally say that, uh, uh, that, uh, you are lying. And we normally say that, you know, some people who told you, normally tell you the truth, you keep saying that it's like we are lying. But people who tell you lies, you keep trusting them that normally tell you the truth. But sincerely speaking, nowadays, people are turning the lies to look like it's the truth. So I, I think he's trying to adapt, and he's trying to adapt that, use that uh, criteria, like how his brother using that criteria each and every day. And I think they normally talk. The tr three siblings, they normally talk, you know, and uh, I know because this journey, his brother started his journey, and you know, they cannot go beyond all outside the guidelines of his brothers, all on his brother. Yeah. Did you ever meet Michele Ponte? Michele Ponte, uh, the, 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 the boyfriend of Di Mwango? Yes. No, I have never met him, but uh, I have been seeing some videos uh, of him. Do you think D. Mwango really loved Michele Ponte? No. <laughs> when it comes with uh, when it comes uh, love, uh, uh, sincerely speaking, I can tell you no, because uh, you can see uh, you can see uh, you know normally when I, I talk about uh, uh, the nuclear family of D. Mwango. People normally say that I'm in two one family, but they're making me eye on them each and every day because of their behavior. You know, uh, I have been seeing uh, D Mwongo having more than three relationships. When he normally, when she normally travel to any country all around, all in, in Nairobi, she has been having uh, many relationships. So I cannot trust her that she love, uh, she love the guy. No, because she loves too many guys. Now, how will it uh, make it serious to love one guy? And she, she dates more than one guy. Okay. In one year, she dates more than two guys, all one guy, more than two guys. Dimoango is back in Kenya to face the music with Jam Tours Africa, who sued her and won for scamming him out of an Airbnb business. Ernest, do you think D. Mwango should have just paid Jam Tours Africa his $7,000 in private to avoid all the bad publicity she brought on to herself? Okay. Uh, okay. In, uh, to me, sincerely speaking, sometimes it's good some things to come explore so that people, they can know 
uh, people who are dealing with. So it's right uh, to pay him uh, that money through the court order or through all those stories on government. Uh, you know, it's good to pay someone to clear uh, in front of people because when you hide, it's like you're hiding something. Why do you hide? Why do you want you to? Hide? Why do you want to hide? You know. So to me, it's good to pay to pay the the money through uh, all court orders or through government. Yeah. Do you think Di Mwango has learned a lesson from this lawsuit to not ever scam people ever again? No. She cannot learn a lesson because uh, you know when you when a young person has money. Or one or a young person at when you have money at the uh, small a or the age you know when you are not uh, older you are not more than uh, uh, more than uh, uh, forty years and you have money you take things in charge on your hand and you have that pride you know so uh, I think the Mongo should not learn that lesson when she's out on this mess. She almost brag. She will always brag, you know. She will, she will almost brag so that she can clean herself out on this mess. But uh, I know God has a purpose why she, he's doing that. And uh, one day, one time, he will learn her, her lesson. What advice, sincerely speaking, would you give to Di Mwango? Okay. Advice that I can give uh, Di Mwango. Uh, I can tell her that uh, in the Republic of Kenya, uh, we have so many celebrities, so many celebrities that uh, they have money and uh, doing maybe kind of all they are doing business and they have a uh, kind of money that she has. But uh, try to put yourself together. Don't show off or don't show uh, the people, all the world that now. You, you you are you and when you 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 are you light back you don't have that money you have been struggling in this village let me tell her that let her try to remember where she started and where she was in this village so wherever she goes or whenever she's doing anything let her keep uh, trying to rem to remind to remind herself that where she was she was back that years and where she is she is right now. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, uh, I've forgotten something I can add on top on that. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, she tried to remember that, uh, uh, her family, her family, she's coming from a, a background family that, uh, normally say that they are God fearing, uh, God fearing. You know, so let them don't try to embarrass their family because they are coming from God fearing family. She okay. has been brought up with a, a background family that they have been uh, working uh, uh, on uh, on church each and every day and worshiping there and trust in God. So why now? Why now are they changing? Why are they shaming their family? And their family, they know that they are, they are fear God. They are hiding. Are they hiding in that house because that uh, they are Christian? That's all. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, before we started this interview, I was watching your video from today. Um, what's going on with Bedbug Brenda? I mean, is, is this woman in love with you or what? Okay, this lady, uh, when I started uh, when I started YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, uh, posting my video before uh, going to reaction, uh, the lady she was sharing my videos. She was sharing my videos, sincerely speaking, and uh, apparently, after she shared my video for like three times, and uh, she called me herself because I had no her number, and uh, for instance, like now. Uh, when someone is uh, is abroad, and uh, me, I have my uh, I don't have her number, 
definitely all my discretion number is there she all he he normally call me back you know because i don't ha have her number so she called me and she talked me about the village the current situation the current situation in the village and we have been talking with her uh, so good and uh the day uh it comes the day when chef matiko uh she was in this village and uh when chef matiko she arrived in this village the first time when she came to build her mom a house uh we had some after after she left before she left uh before he left uh, to spain we had some issues uh small small issues and uh I said, and I called the lady. I told her I want to go in reaction because this village now, people are not supportive, and people are trying to to see like uh, when when they support you, it's like you are going to take all subscribers from them, all it's like you are going to take all donation from them. So me, uh, I want to leave this uh, normal vlog vlog. I want to iron people. I want to go in reaction, and she told me, no, don't do that because uh i want to come in that village my my contract is ending on december next year now we are 2024 this year and uh, i'm intending to come and you will host me to your place and i want you to be my my i want i want you i want you i want me to be your guest and i want you to host me in that village and i want you to be my how can i put it mm. I know how, I know if you understand Swahili I can put it chaperone you know hmm. and uh, I told her it's okay but to me I, I see things are difficult here people are not supportive so I'm jumping into uh to reaction and she told me no 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 and before that I can remember they had a live with Dimwongo they had a live connection uh, with Dimongo and another lady, but I cannot remember that lady. So it's like she had ambition to come in this village before me knew her, you know. So she, she was like, uh, most of, uh, of the time she was seeing me gracing my goats. I had some goats and she was telling me, why can't you take uh, even one goat tomorrow so that you can be friends, so that he can support you because the part now is going to to create a party. He's going to make a party there, so that at least you can interact. When I'm coming in that village, just so we can make we can be making some videos, vlogging around village, and we can we can we can do some video and we can go far. And I told her, no, take my goat tomorrow. No, maybe you you buy a goat and I take to him. Maybe uh, all you buy and you search someone to send to him, but me to go down there, I cannot go because. For, from my life i don't know how to beg now uh if you can see on my videos i stopped posting my video my normal vlogs for like one month i got mute posting and when i came first uh, starting my reaction she came out now first of all the day i remember she called me on emo in fact she called me on each text the morning was stab and she called me i wanted to download emo i up called emo in fact i never knew even emo what is emo but uh she called me and she told me i downloaded emo she wanted to talk to me i downloaded the emo now we we have been talking to her i talked to her she told me why are you going to reaction i told her blah blah we talked about all those issues but she said if you are going to reaction I will never side with you and I'm going to be your enemy, your enemy until the last time. How is the sunflower of Nambahanzi doing these days? How is he doing? Unmute. Sunflowers? Or, 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 uh, repeat no, your, your question. Uh, sunflower. Mr. Sunflower of Nambahanzi. How's, how's he doing? You know, a sunflower because I don't want to mention his name, a sunflower just sits there and wants to be seen, but nobody really notices the sunflower. I, th I think you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> the, one that, the, one that's, the one who sits in the car sometimes. The one who... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unmute. unmute. The drunkard person. 
<laughs> sunflower. The sunflower. Let me use. Uh, let me use that uh, sunflower uh, of Nyabuhansi. Yeah, the sun, the sunflower of Nyabuhansi. He normally fake, sincerely speaking. And uh, me, I know him very well because we even grow up with him. Although he's uh, he's bigger than me, uh, three years ahead of me, all three years ahead of me. But I know him very well. But uh, he's a, in fact in Nyabuhansi's karma. In fact, my first priority I can put him to be the bronze scammer because he used a lot of lies, sincerely speaking, a lot of lies. I don't know why he's using that a lot of lies because maybe he stayed at, the, at Nairobi and he was uh, using an expensive life. Now, when he's, he is in this village, now he doesn't have money to pay some his bills. Now maybe he's that's why he's contradicting himself and doing all those uh, mess. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Ernest, for being here today. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. This is Mr. Nice, your host of Kung Fu Fanta. And on that note, everybody, we're out.